All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We got Drewbert with us. What's up, Drewbert? Pretty hyped. Uh, I didn't realize this was an MSI patch, but I see it clearly on the screen. <laughs> yeah, it is there MSI you go. Patch. <laughs> uh, all right, 14.8. Let's get into it. Just released freshly um, the day before it goes live. And here are your highlights. Got some Baron and Void Grub changes. What is that Baron icon, though? I don't know. Weird. It's kind of interesting. All right. Uh, Blood Moon skins coming out as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Vanguard. Beginning with this patch, Vanguard will officially be turned on in the Philippines on the live servers. Okay. Okay. So just for the Philippines, I guess. <laughs> for now. Not us. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Coley is up first. So we got base stats. The base health is going up by 30. So from 570 to 600. Uh, I don't think this matters, but definitely more annoying to fight against, for sure. True, 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 true. Uh, right. Azir, fresh off his uh, pro play ban. Not Bro, that's so play annoying. <laughs> um, and let's see what they're doing to him. So they are decreasing his health regen um, per five seconds. So he'll regen health a lot slower okay. um and then the magic damage on his w where he summons his sand soldiers um the flat damage is nerfed a bit it looks like is it early is the same at rank one but then every rank after it gets hit by a bit of a nerf um eight damage at max rank so i don't think it's the end of the world but the health yeah. regen can make him a little less sustained in lane so that might be annoying definitely yeah um, yeah. And that's just the base stats, of course. So not really yes, matter yes, yes, so yes. much, but definitely definitely matters a bit. Yeah, I think the health regen is bigger than the W nerf. Yeah, I would say so. I think they're going like tank Azir with like grasp and stuff nowadays, though. Mm -hmm. So or fleet. So it shouldn't really be a pr big problem. But yeah, definitely definitely nerfs them a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, and then uh, Briar up next. We got base stats health growth down by five, so it's gonna be what is 100 now? It's 95, and then Q head rush. The range is actually getting up by 25, so it was 450, now it's 475, and then her blood frenzy, front, blah, 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 blood frenzy, the W, uh, bonus attack speed. Uh, looks like going up by one, two, three, four, and five percent, depending on the low. wait, right? Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, up, up by one percent. By one percent, level one. It's three level five, level two. S five? No, seven, seven. It's down. Okay, it's up by one. It's down. Wait, no, it's up by three. Hold on, <laughs> it's down by seven, level three. Down by nine, level four, and. Down, down by, by 15 wow. level 5 okay so it, the first two levels it's a little better and then every level afterward it's like pretty largely nerfed on the attack speed also, uh, also keep in mind because um, it might be more important now but the Q the range buff because she can ward hop now That's remember true, they, yeah. they made that change so I don't know if like the 475 makes it like she can hop over certain things better now I'm not sure but it could Possibly, be but, yeah. It might be a possibly a bigger deal than we think. I just don't know all the ins and outs of. That's fair, yeah. I think frequent yeah, yeah. in the the preview of the patch was saying that it was just for like an extra little bit of uh, yeah. of range and stuff, but uh, that Makes definitely sense. does matter. Yeah, you could probably hop a little bit farther in the walls. <laughs> all right, uh, Draven. Draven. <laughs> uh, Q damage is up five every single rank um flat and then scales the same um so it'll probably be a bit of a this is giving him a little bit more lane bully uh g2 will like it uh han sama's a big big draven guy so yeah uh, i think we uh, saw it in the lck think... finals too so definitely yeah yeah, yeah we played. did so there's a couple couple people going to msi who you know they'll definitely be happy with uh some draven buffs yeah i wonder if we'll i wonder if we'll see him for sure um, all right, Galio base stats base, base movement speed is up by five, so it was 335. Now it's 340 move speed, and then his Q Winds of War the cooldown is getting uh, buffed early, so um, it was 12 to seven seconds. Now it is 11 to seven seconds, and it's just kind of rounding out those numbers as well. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, depending on rank. So if, nice. uh, 
if someone's been paying attention to patch notes, um, I'm pretty sure Galio is like the most buffed champion over the last year. I feel like he's buffed every other patch. But oh, you think so? <laughs> Definitely the last um, couple, that's for sure. Yeah, he like keeps getting buffed. Um, they keep trying to make him a thing, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if he. We'll see. I feel like he's gonna be good for sure, but I'm not sure. If... Yeah. I wonder if we'll see him, I guess. <laughs> uh, what are they doing to Graves? So Graves is uh, New Destiny, is passive. So attack speed is... Um, attack speed, increased attack speed scaling from non-level sources towards the reload time by 35%. So uh, that feels like it's probably good. Uh, it's an increase in attack speed. Okay, so yeah, when you buy attack speed, it, it's yep. just a lot better. So, yep, so, yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, cause he has that reload mechanic and then, um, critical damage is up a little bit. Um, and it's worth noting it's per pellet on his blast. So it's actually, you know, if you can get one target with all the pellets, um, this might, this might be pretty yeah, significant. It definitely can be pretty large. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. That looks like they want him to be itemizing toward crit and autos right. and, rather than, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I do appreciate. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. I think, I think that's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, all right. Way passive signature of the visionary. They are buffing this, I believe. So it was bonus magic damage 35 to 180 based on level plus 30, 30% AP. Now it all there is the same, except it's now 35% AP, so an extra 5% on top. Not too bad, not too bad. J4, um, they're upping his passive damage, so just by 1%, but it is percent targets current health. Yep. Um. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, anything current health is decent. So yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, uh, not a huge change, but it, Jarvan, I, I, I'm sure we'll see him in MSI. Pros love to play Jarvan. <laughs> you think so, so yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. I just feel like they, even when he's not good, there's always somebody who's like, you know, yeah. They just I think Rumble's him. coming back a little bit, so I feel like it's a good combo, definitely. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the hot pot combo. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and of course, that is like it used to be seven percent as of thirteen. 13- point 18 mm -hmm. last year so uh towards the end of the year so that's definitely nice back for him yeah. and we got Jin up next passive whisper okay um i'm hyped about this all right so bonus um movement speed on critical strike so the movement speed is was 10 percent, and now it is 14 percent flat and then of course it scales right. off of your bonus attack speed as well so you can go real zoomy if you get attack speed um and then Q dancing grenade minimum physical damage uh, is getting I think oh it looks like maybe oh no it's buffed okay so it's getting one damage off of every level on the base damage um, just for so they can have a few more fours in there um, yeah and the memes. <laughs> <laughs> yep and then uh, the scaling was uh, 35 to 65 percent of AD and now it is 44 percent to 74 percent AD so quite a large buff early and late. Um, yeah, more fours, what, more like better. Nine percent total, mm -hmm. uh, every ring basically. I think. Yeah, I think that's about the math. And then of course it also scales with a little bit of AP as well, but that is being unchanged. So just a lot better AD scaling. So uh, some pretty yeah, large yeah, yeah. buffs to Jin here. I wonder if we'll see him. Yeah, no, I think maybe there's definitely some Jin players. Um, All right, peace. Sneaky, could bust it out. Yeah, yeah, no sneaky though. <laughs> um kaisa okay they love kaisa and pro play so not surprising <laughs> um she's getting a q damage increase so damage per missile is getting a little bit of help on the ad ratio which makes sense because um her like kind of ap heavy build has been favored recently so yeah. it's going five percent extra ad scaling on her q um that's per missile so again just kind of like graves it could definitely be meaningful if you Isolator target, so Definitely. Um, I like we will for sure see Kaisa in, in MSI. Pros love Kaisa, Riot loves Kaisa. Uh, <laughs> she's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's fun to watch. I think I actually don't hate when she's in the meta because she's like exciting to watch. So yeah, she's, that's she's that'll be cool. fun. She has like uh, she has like I feel like she has everything. The only downside to her, I would say, is um obviously her ult doesn't do damage, but um, yeah, I'd say the main downside to her is that she's five twenty five range, so it's relatively yes. short. Um, but I mean, that's, that's, you got to make it so that she can be, she can like be counterable, I guess. Yeah, true, true, true. But yeah, she's a great champ. All right. LeBlanc. We got Q Sigil of Malice. Uh, magic damage is, looks like it's going up by five flat every rank. Um, so nothing crazy, but definitely some nice little, uh, damage there, especially early on. And then 
W distortion, the cooldown, uh, was 18 to 10 seconds based on rake. Now it is 15 to 10, so three seconds off early, which is pretty big. Uh, it's one of your main yeah. wave clear tools, yeah. And so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. pretty good. All right. Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser. I heard about um, these changes, so oh, yeah. or at least one specifically, I'm sure everyone's aware of. But um, we'll go through it all. Q obliterate. Uh, is getting a buff early, cooldown is down a full second nice. at rank one, and then it's it's not as big of a buff the rest of the way through. By the time you max it, it's the same. You get a little bit of a buff, but rank one is a full second, so that, that's pretty good. Um, the E, uh, where he grabs you, um, is getting a... Actually, that one's getting a nerf. 10 flat damage that's, per that rank matter. <laughs> which i mean you're using it for the cc i think not for the yeah and the scaling's untouched so that's fine and then this is going to be the big one that probably a lot of people have heard but uh realm of death the death realm um you can no longer uh escape it with qss uh scimitar like ba basically um this was really hard i think to do but you could like you could milio cleanse it like if you had really good timing so pretty much all of the cleanse mechanics it's not going to get you out of the death realm now. So, yeah. Crowd control immunity will still prevent the application. So, like uh, Morgana, Black Shield, and uh, mm -hmm. I guess that means uh, Sivir E as well. Spell Shield. Yeah. Basically. So that you means. can like you can prevent yourself from like uh, if he tries to cast I think on you, going like it. getting cast it on you, but yeah. you can't like retroactively cleanse out of it. Basically, is the idea. Cool. Yeah. I think yeah. it's pretty interesting. I feel like it's kind of op but we're gonna see i guess yeah because basically there's nothing to stop him from just like bum rushing your adc and yeah. <laughs> just kidnapping like even if you can't Pretty kill much. the adc your adc is out of the fight at that point so yeah definitely definitely yep or like a jungler like think like a smite fight you just no way to get yep, that's any, gonna be the yeah, big one out, for, so. for msi i think <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah definitely it's gonna be interesting i they might have to revert this but uh yeah mordekaiser is i'd say really strong especially i mean he's he's still good with um now you can get red lies and uh what's the other one called rift maker yeah, uh, yeah, yeah which are like so good together so yeah for sure still got uh or not red lies, what am i thinking land leandries but yes Rylize yeah, 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 as well yeah, yeah, of course right. yeah. <laughs> all right olaf undertow bonus damage to monsters on his q uh was 5 to 25 based on rank now it's 5 to 45 so just gets a little extra love in on the the monster clears with his q i think i think last patch they gave him some jungle buffs too so I think so. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Definitely try and make him a jungler again. Um, All right. What do we got with Rise? Our oh, let's go. Our blue boy. Okay, slow on the rune prison. Up twenty or almost twenty percent. It's up fifteen percent. Thirty-five, yep. forty-five. Yeah, fifty. So up to fifty percent slow. And then the cooldown is That's down big. two seconds. Rank one. That's big. Um, which is big because you can just drop a point in the W now. And yeah, you're gonna be very annoying. So. Um, Rise definitely a pro favored champion when he's viable. So um, I'm hype. Yeah, it's yeah. Big. I think we'll, we'll we'll be seeing some Rise in MSI. <laughs> I think uh, Rise, Swain, and uh, obviously Minam you know, Mordekaiser as well are some some super good champs right now. Honestly. Yeah. 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 Um, definitely. Just in general. But all right. Uh, Skarner, uh oh, got a bunch of stuff uh -oh. here. <laughs> okay, they updated his uh, recommended rune pages um, to be okay, correct cool, cool. instead of the old version, which they hadn't updated yet. Uh, and then recommended items are also there as well. And nice. then base stats mana growth uh, is down by five every level, and then uh, mana regeneration growth was. 0.45 now it's 0.6 so that's up a little bit the regeneration and then q shattered earth slash upheaval damage per hit uh the base is getting buffed not level one but level two is up five level three is up 10 and then 15 20 based on rank and then we have tw uh, 20 percent more bonus ad scaling on his uh q of course and then the uh, bonus health scaling is unchanged mana cost uh is down by 10 level one and then it looks like down by 10 every rank actually uh buff duration uh was 3.5 seconds now it's a whole five seconds so uh the note is the buff was slow refresh on attacks and upon casting e um but yeah there you go you have a little bit longer to um to throw your rock mm -hmm. if you so choose 
And then upheaval, recast, lockout time uh, was 0.75 seconds. Now it's just a half second, so 0.5 seconds. And then the shattered earth cast time was 0.5 seconds, and now it is 0.35 seconds. So uh, you have less seconds, like basically standing in place uh, a lot less, because uh, it does take quite a while to rip that rock out of the ground. Uh, and the, the note says that this is how long Skarner stands in place, pulling the boulder out of the ground before being able to move or attack, which is, it was it was a little clunky, I think, so I'm glad they were able to do that. And then W Seismic Bastion Mana Cost uh, is going up uh, 10 every rank. And then Magic Damage, um, the flat is going down by 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, based on rank. Um, and then the AP scaling is unchanged, so that's that's all the changes for Skarner today. But yeah, some little updates there. Nice. Yeah, to be expected with a, like a rework. So yeah, like, definitely. Tweak them a bit. Pretty good. Um, uh, ooh, more jungle Silas on the horizon. Um, it's just one change, but uh, kind of a lot of damage. So thirty extra percent damage to monsters on his Q, up to one hundred percent damage. So um okay yeah, yeah there a little go. easier to, to calculate that now as well <laughs> yep yeah yeah, yeah it's 100 <laughs> back to normal back to normal yep. that's cool uh i think silas is pretty strong overall um and then yeah him size coming up like you said so definitely could see him there <clears throat> uh thresh based armor uh is up by two magic resist growth is also up by well it was 1.3 and now it's 1.55 so up by a little bit, uh, and that is the growth, so it does matter quite a pretty decent amount. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Zach. So let's see, Zach. They're nerfing the regen per five seconds from eight to five. Um, so he'll be yeah, and this is definitely just targeting probably the top lane Zach that we've been seeing a lot of. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think it'll be nearly as annoying in uh, the jungle, but top lane, yeah, he'll be not getting his health back as easily so maybe uh maybe they're trying to just make him prefer jungle now yeah i think so i think so all right uh zeri base stats going uh base health going down by 30 so kind of the opposite of that first <laughs> change we saw yep. um uh there yeah there you go nothing super crazy but she's uh, getting a little bit a little bit squishier yeah <clears throat> All right, and then system. So Baron Nasher, he's got a big visual overhaul earlier this year, of course, mm -hmm. um, but they think his damage isn't as scary. So acid pool magic damage was 10% AD. Now it's 200 flat plus 10% AD. So just an extra 200 damage on that. Um, these are the abilities that he does, of course, and you can dodge them, but yeah. Uh, acid pool slow is up by 60%. Uh, 10% rather, um, so now it's 60% slow, and then Territorial Baron pull magic damage is was 75, now it's 300, and then Hunting Baron lightning magic damage was 50% of target's current health, now it's 20%, and then Acid Shot magic damage uh, it was 20% AD, now it's 200 plus 50% AD, that's pretty big, and then Tentacle knockup magic damage was 25% AD, now it's 200 plus 25% AD, so just giving him a lot more extra damage and so he's not quite as easy to take down i suppose uh, uh you have any thoughts on that one <laughs> or just no it's fine all right, all right cool yeah Baron is Baron. This, uh, this one though this one could be to me this one might be more game changing um this so yeah the void stuff because they're upping the spawn time by a minute yep. but i'll be curious let me see if it says at the top a few adjustments to void grubs increasing this is intended to line their spawn up with when the solo ignis hits six. Yeah, so that's what I was gonna wonder because I feel like right now, like you're going if you're there right when the grub spawn, like, like a lot of alts are. Yeah. yeah, they're like your alts on online. So now I feel like the fights for first grub could be more exciting. Which again, if this is MSI focused, um, that could be pretty cool. See yeah. some early game grub fights. Definitely. Um, All right, and it says. Yeah. Initial Void Grub spawn time obviously was 5 minutes, now it's 6. Uh, touch of the Void damage per stack uh, was 6, half to 3 for ranged champions. True damage per second for 4 seconds, now it's 8, so up by 2, um, which obviously means per stack as well, um, which can be quite a bit. Which what, You can get 6 stacks total, so that could be mm -hmm. 6 times 2 is uh, 12, 
extra. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then Hunger of the Void Threshold was five uh, Touch of the Void stacks gain a second summon at six stacks. Um, and four Touch of the Void stacks gain a second summon at six stacks. So um, basically you had to get five for the first um, Void Grub to spawn on your attack there at the turret, and then now it's only four. So um, even if you take one grub from each of the two spawns, the enemy team could still have four and still spawn one guy, so you're going to have to take in a little bit extra. Commit a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. All right. And Mythic Shop okay. rotation. we got a bunch of stuff. Some porcelain. Ooh, I might grab this one. Not yeah, that's a good scan. The Prestige one is pretty good. Yeah, they're yeah. great. All right. <clears throat> and then... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, no, that one's leaving. Just kidding. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Area imbalance changes. Of course, we got a couple of those. If you're interested, we got quick play. Players assigned position icons are added to the quick play loading screen, offering additional clarity on role assignment for quick play before the game starts. Added to the quick play loading screen. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Like as they're nice. loading in. Yeah, yeah. 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 Interesting. Okay. Bug fixes and quality of life changes. We got a few different things. Um. What? Uh, okay, interesting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Malignus will help proc on ultimates that are considered auto attacks, like Warwick's or Twitch's R's. And then a bunch of bug fixes. Feel free to read. I'm sure they're useful. And then we got Blood Moon Fiddlesticks, Blood Moon Z, and Blood Moon Zyra. Any of these um, looking good to you? Um, Zyra and Z feel like they should be blood moon skins like i get it and i've never thought like oh fiddle six definitely needs a blood moon skin but, <laughs> yeah definitely um, not i guess it kind of lights up though yeah yeah i'm here for it sure but uh <laughs> but no, i'm surprised I, I actually can't believe that like zed didn't already have one so um, right yeah no that's cool that's fair that's fair all right well that's gonna be it for the patch notes today thank you guys for watching uh we'll catch you in the next patch notes video and when if you're interested in the lcs or esports side of league of legends um we're gonna be doing some uh msi coverage probably pretty soon Ooh. here uh but yeah thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you later peace